And now let's turn the show over to our host, the man who wants to bring cannibalism back to Fiji, oh, yeah. Ernest yeah. L. Stanley. That's the <laughs> first time Chuck ever got something up this easy before. Hey, oh, 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 <laughs> forget about it. <laughs> Welcome and thank you to tuning in to the DME's late night destination for nonstop laughs and rock out music. My name is Ernest Stanley and I want to introduce to you our fantastic band. You heard them at the top of the show. They are called The Krim, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. As Rachel Rollins on vocals, Nick DePinto on guitar, and Nick Allen on bass with my main man, Bob Miller, getting funky on the drum. <laughs> Damn, there we go. <laughs> All right, we've got some great stuff in store for you this evening, so let's get right to it. Our first comedian has been doing comedy for over a year in the DMV. Please welcome back to the show the one and only, the absolutely lovely Miss Ruth Rasby, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah? Wow, you guys are beautiful out there. It's good. I don't tell jokes to ugly people. I like a payoff. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed things change as you grow up. Um, some big things like tits, hey yo. That was it's a pretty noticeable change, but some things are more subtle, like uh, your tastes, like I used to really love like sugary food, Skittles, chips, and now I'm 26, so I've matured. I'm into kale, Brussels sprouts, and penis tastes a lot different at this age. Like, <laughs> it's just a little too salty, I think, before. Um, as you guys can tell, I have a lot of experience with sexual harassment, uh, mostly from using jokes like that to open. Uh, <laughs> Well, how do you feel about sexual harassment, ladies? Yeah? How do you feel about sexual harassment, Rachel? She's been harassed the whole show. Um, that's why you don't dress nice. Um, but I, uh, my whole theory <laughs> with sexual harassment is just do it. I mean, just, just do it right. Uh, I walk up sometimes and I get, yo, mama, what's up? Hey, skinny girl. And like, as I walk by, it always just stops. And it really confused me for a while, but then I realized they're not looking at my butt, they're looking for it. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, I got that hipster ass. Uh, my butt is so flat, it's posturepedic. <laughs> Should you lie up against it, your head, neck, and shoulders will be in perfect alignment. Uh, um, but I'm a smart girl, I'm more personality, I suppose. Uh, I went to college. I. Uh, Went to Howard University. Um, you guys know HU? <laughs> sort of a non-traditional student, you could say. Um, people remember me. It was kind of embarrassing, though, the whole time, because I, uh, I dated this white older guy all through college. And everyone's like, really? Really? I'm like, don't worry, ladies. He's black where it counts. You cannot tell how old he actually is. <laughs> Carries it well. Um, I have a college education, so I'm a waitress. I, uh,